Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the Vici system, um, specifically today how to log in and how to do a three-way call. So the first thing you are going to do is go to this website. Um, the website that you'll actually be typing in will just be this murphy.dialerhosting.com, which then adds on this Vici dial. You're gonna click agent login you'll have a phone login which is your username uh, a number and a password that we've given you um, so for example i'll be 8026 my password is in there you have to do this screen twice the first time you'll put in your phone login and that password you'll click submit and that'll get this other box to appear down there so then you'll make sure your user login and password are still on there you'll click this little arrow and you'll find Closer, Closers Inbound. That's the name of our campaign. And then you'll click Submit. It'll load you up. And to make sure that everything is set up correctly for you, um, you're going to have to listen to a voice on a screen in a second here. So what you're going to do first is you're going to find your name on the left-hand side here. You see this one on top? It should say Chris. Uh, and that's for you, Christoph. Um, I'm here, closer Tim. You just click it once, left click it, and it takes it to the right side. Once you've done that, you click submit, and then it takes you to this page. Once you're here, you'll click call agent web phone, and then you'll listen for a couple seconds, and you'll wanna hear a voice that says, you are the only one in the conference. Um, and if it does that, then you know that your phone is set up. So I'm gonna click it. Only person in this conference. And so I heard the voice, and so I know I'm set up okay, and uh, says in call on here. When you first log in, you're paused. So if you're ready to take call calls, you'll go up to the left-hand side here, click that, and then you're active. And you'll wait for calls to come in, and then it'll just automatically pop in here, and you'll hear a tone, and it'll answer for you. Uh, so if at any time you wanna pause, go to the restroom, get something to eat, um, take a short break, something like that. You'll go up here on the left side and where it says you are active, you'll click it again and it'll say you are paused. Sometimes when you click it, a box comes up and it says something or other and you'll just click OK and click it again and then it'll take you to paused or unpaused. Active, paused. OK, so now I'm going to show you how to do a three-way call. So what I need to do first is call myself and it'll be as if um, I was a live transfer. So forgetting the fact that I'm calling myself because you guys aren't gonna need to do this part of it, but I'll put my um, cell phone number in there. I'm gonna call it. It's calling me now, so I've answered it. Hello? Hello? Yep. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna okay, mute. So I'm gonna I muted my cell phone. Um, okay, so right now, here's my phone number that you can see. And it's as, let's just say, as if you have a live transfer on the line. And so they would have their information in here. And you've given them the quotes, they wanna do the plan, and you need to do the three-way call with the insurance company. What you're going to do is you're gonna click here, transfer or conference line. This is for a conference call that you'll be doing. Left click it once, this box pops up on the bottom. You'll put in the phone number to call here. It'll be the 800 uh, number to the insurance company. I'm just gonna put in our office number right now. So it'll call that. And you're always gonna wanna click dial with customer. You're, you never wanna park the customer. Park means putting them on hold. You never wanna put the customer on hold and uh, do any other calling because that's just an easier way for the customer to get off the line with you and um, too many things can go wrong. So always click dial with customer. It's dialing now. And that's our office number where this would normally be the um, insurance company. So I'm gonna, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hang up the transfer line when you're done with the insurance company and you've done the voice verification. So I'll click hang up transfer line. And that hung up this phone number down here, which would have been the insurance company. 
always do hang up transfer line. Don't hang up both lines because when you're done with the insurance company, you still want to have the client online. And you can see I'm still uh, talking to, <laughs> to myself. Um, I still have my cell phone on here, but this would be the client. You can see also up here in the upper right-hand corner, it has how many seconds you've been on. You're gonna to wanna to keep track of that because we have a three minute buffer on this. And so if within three minutes you've figured that this isn't a good prospect uh, that's gonna to buy today, you're gonna to need to hang up with this customer before it gets to 180 seconds. Otherwise we get charged for it and we'll be getting charged for a bad transfer. Um, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is before that gets to 180, or when you're done with everything with the customer, you've um, done the application, the three-way call, and you're just ready to get off the line with them, you'll hang up the customer here, over here on the left-hand side where it says, hang up customer. Click that, that ended the call. And then once you end the call, you need to click one of these dispositions, uh, which is saying what happened on the call. Uh, so let's say, um, you know, it can be decline sale, they said, do not call, not interested, sale made, uh, whatever on here. I'll just put um, no pitch, no price. And then you're gonna click submit. Um, when you're done with the call, if you're just ready to go on to the next call, don't click this. But if you're done with the call, and let's say you've written an application and you need to write some client information down, something like that, you can click that. And then you're gonna always click submit after you choose one of these options on here, click submit. And then that takes you back to this page. And because I had clicked the box that said to pause calls, it has me on pause here. If you don't click that, you'll be active and more calls will be coming to you then later. Uh, so that's how to do the three-way call. That's how to end the call. That's how to log in. And that should be most everything that you need on here. Good luck, everyone. And I will talk to you soon.